For our photo tour, we did the One Center in St. Peter at Gustavus. My name's Haley. And my name's Sarah. So the One Center, like we said, is located in St. Peter at Gustavus Adolphus College. Um, the executive director is Tom Brown. He's also the um, athletic director there. They have the same type of director. And then the facility was started in 1984. So one good design feature that we liked was that they had um, wall murals for every sport team located around the building with their schedule on it um, so that people, when they came in the building, they don't have to go to the office. They can just go to the wall that the sport team is on to find when they play next. We also really liked that the hockey rink was on campus. It was easy access for the athletes as well as anyone wanting to go to open skate. They have open skate anytime that there isn't practice, which is really nice for anyone who wants to skate. Um, they had different levels for the swimming pool to watch swim meets. They had upper level and they had lower level, so whatever view you wanted to watch the meet, you could. Uh, we also really liked that they had conference rooms uh, throughout the facility. That way you could have team meetings or coaches meetings, but you could also do uh, potlucks in some of them like they did for teams after games and stuff. They're big enough to be able to do that. All the sport facilities, the swimming pool, gymnastics area, um, basketball court, all of them were in one big building, so that was really nice. You didn't have to go to different buildings on campus. And because everything's all in one building, the it was really easy to follow, and the flow of the building, it was easy to find where you needed to go and uh, where everything was. So here's some pictures from our tour. On the left side is the conference room. It's nice for potlucks or meetings to have in the facility. And then in the middle and the bottom was the ice rink that's on campus. And then you can also watch the games inside the ice rink, or you can watch it outside, which is the picture on the right. That's a heated area, so you don't have to be so cold, and you can watch it from above. So here are a couple photos of the pool. You can see that there's a glass uh, glassed-off area where the fans sit that uh, prevents any splashing or anything like that. There's also an uh, area outside uh, that has seating where you're not directly in the pool, but you can still see the pool where it's going to be a little bit cooler than if you were actually inside. And on the right, there is a viewing window in the basement um, where coaches for like divers can go and watch their, or you can set up a camera and be able to see uh, the techniques and how uh, each diver is doing. Okay, so the upper left-hand corner is their aerobic studio so that cheerleaders and dancers or anyone that really wants to use it can use that in the facility. And then the basketball court can be transitioned into pretty much anything, the vol like volleyball. And then there's the um, indoor track that goes around it for meets, which is nice. And then they also have, um, on the upper level, basically their Hall of Champions, and that lists like all of the conferences and states and stuff that each team won, so that's nice to see as well. So a couple of things we didn't really like about the facility were um, they had all the weight areas in different parts of the building. There wasn't one general location for all the cardio or weightlifting or anything like that, so that was a little hard to maneuver and figure out where things were. Um, and then they had a small room for their gymnastic practice and competitions. It was held in the same part. And so for competitions, they got really um, crowded in there, and they didn't want to move it to the downstairs gym because that was a lot of heavy equipment to carry. There's also a lack of locker room space for not only the teams, but anyone in general using the facilities. Um, you can rent them out, but there wasn't very many, and sometimes they had them in random parts of hallways because there wasn't enough. And then not having a secure check-in point, like one check-in point, there's so many different entrances to the building, and so they can't really monitor who's going in and out. And so that was kind of a lack of security, and they need to have a point like that. There's also not a lot of extra gym space when there's transition or overlap from the winter to spring sports. If you're just a general student and not an athlete, between the winter and spring sports, you're not going to be able to find an area to work out or do anything like that. So I think having something else where there's more gym space or another separate weight room or something like that would be really beneficial. And then the offices for coaches and just workers were scattered throughout the building in random hallways. There wasn't a general area for that. So that was a bad design. And then they also had really bad storage issues. Um, they would just put random stuff in 
the gems and not have it locked away. Uh, these pictures just kind of show how there are four different areas for all the workout equipment, and it's not all in one area, which is kind of an issue. Yeah, if you're like trying to use one machine, you might have to go across the facility to find it. So that's kind of a pain for people that want to work out. All right, so the bottom picture here is the gymnastics area. As you can see, it's a very tight space, not a lot of room, and they have to add a lot of chairs in for meets, which can be a hazard as they move from one event to another. They move chairs around. Um, and the other two pictures are just showing that um, they store things in random places since there isn't really a general location to store items. So some things we learned from touring this facility is that there's not enough space for students. Um, they need to have another facility like between winter and spring sports so that other people can go work out. And then they didn't open up most of their areas or they don't open up most of their areas to the public during the school year. A lot of them is just for athletes because obviously there's not enough time between practices and having it be open to the public. Um, and like we said earlier, there's not enough locker rooms or lockers for the athletes. When they have multiple events going on, they often have to put a team in a really small location, and it's not ideal for them because there's not enough locker storage. There's also um, not a good area for the safety aspect of the facility. Without, without having a check-in area, you, you can't monitor who's going in and out of the facility, which can be a really high-risk thing. There's also a lot behind the scenes that is going on. Um, the pictures show down in the boiler room. It's all the electricity and how to run everything in the building. Um, it's a really big area, so that's kind of cool to see. So the one thing we really think should be changed and it would be first on our list for a renovation would be having a main entrance with one check-in point. Um, some way for students and faculty to be able to check in either with their student ID or a sign in, sign out kind of thing. That way uh, they know who's going in and out of the building and they don't have any issues if some random person were to come in and whatnot. So our takeaways after we toured the facility, um, if we were to build a facility, we would build one space for all workout equipment. Um, it was really annoying having to go to different locations to find different pieces of like lifting material or just cardio workouts. So we would want one space for that. And then we would also make sure there was enough locker rooms for events because this facility didn't have enough. We'd also like to have one designated area for all the offices, uh, for the coaches, anyone else working in the building. That way it's easy to find them. You know where they are. You're not having to walk around, wander around trying to figure out where a certain coach or office is located. And again, we'd like one entrance for security purposes. And then we would want to try to separate practice areas from performance areas just because, like in that case of their facility, the gym for gymnastics it was too small so it'd be nice just to have separate areas for those two things